Watch out, your favorite celebrities are deceiving you on Twitter. What's up guys, I'm Chastity. I'm usually behind the scenes at TFN as associate producer, but today I'm taking over the show. Also, I lock Scott Brownlee in a broom closet. Now, we all follow celebrities on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media, but did you know that they're constantly selling things to you without you realizing it? We're used to celebrity endorsements in commercials and other media. A lot of music artists use product placement in their music videos, ranging from the subtle to the obvious. And then there's JLo, who took product placement to a whole new level at the American Music Awards. She's like, screw it, I'ma pop out of this fiat and get paid. I see you, girl. But long since Ray Charles told us Pepsi was the right one, celebrity endorsement has changed. You got the right one, baby! Today, it's as simple as a 140 character tweet. How do you know if their product plug is authentic or if they're simply just getting paid? Earlier this month, Miley Cyrus tweeted, Thanks, Black Jeff, for the flight to Silicon Valley. And as the New York Times found out, Miley was given some consideration for her tweet by the private jet travel company. Kim Kardashian, who has close to 18 million Twitter followers, posted a picture of herself using EOS lip balm along with the tweet, Pregnancy lips, EOS to the rescue, laughing out loud. Justin Bieber, the reigning king of Twitter with over 40 million followers, tweeted about 1-800-Flowers just before Mother's Day, along with a shout out to his mom. Well played, sir. But guys, if we can't trust the beeps, I mean, who can we trust, right? So just how much cash are these stars raking in? According to the Huffington Post, speculations put Kim Kardashian's price at $20,000 per tweet. What? What? Her sister Chloe gives you a discount at $13,000 a tweet, and Jared Leto charges about the same thing. Snooky pockets nearly $8,000 for a sponsored tweet, but if you're on a budget, you can get Malcolm in the Middle to promote your products for a cheap $252. Yeah. Is anyone on the lookout for these celebrity profiteers? Turns out the Federal Trade Commission is. In March, the FTC finally updated their consumer protection rules, establishing new terms for disclosing internet advertising. According to the new guidelines, a celebrity must make it clear to their followers that their tweet was an ad. For example, starting the tweet with the word ad colon or tacking on the hashtag SPON at the end. But one, who actually is going to do this? And two, can they regulate it? I think we're on our own here, guys. So what do you think? Can we ever trust celebrities again? Which ones do you trust? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. For TFN, this is Chastity. Oh my God. I should probably let Scott out now, huh? Maybe after lunch. How long has he been in the closet? <laughs>